one family. No house, no car, no TV, no microwave, no phone. Definitely no speedboat. Sent to the other side of the world. And given the chance to experience daily life with another culture, here's their story. Worlds apart. years old. I'm a lieutenant for the St. Louis Police Department. Come on, hustle up. Gotta make plays. Hands back. See it hit the back. I like working with kids and teaching them sports. You know, when you've been married as long as I have, 13 years, you realize you just do what they want and you'll stay married. Happens all the time. <laughs> Where the loving husband is the one who's blamed. That would be me, the loving husband. The Nobles live in St. Louis, Missouri. Famous for its landmark arch, St. Louis is home to the American pastimes of baseball, beer, and Bigfoot, the monster truck. Out of the four of us, Debbie, Jasmine, Joshua, and myself, I'm probably the least adventurous. <laughs> I'm probably the one who would just say no. Here's how we're going to travel, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start. In the sort. Then we go to California. Then we go to South Korea. And then we go to Mongolia. What the nobles don't know is that they are going to live in a village of semi nomadic horse herders. There is no running water, no electricity, and the nearest paved road is a three hour drive away. Home of the legendary conqueror Genghis Khan, Mongolia's entire population is about the same as the metro area of St. Louis. My name is Arun Babar and my nickname is Baba. And um, so uh, you should call me just Baba. Bobo and her family spend winters in the capital of Ulaanbaatar and summers with their relatives in the countryside, somewhere about here. Milking cows is the, uh, one of the main jobs of a woman, so everybody basically has the same job every day. Health insurance is Deborah. My name is Deborah Johnson Noble. I am 43 years young, and I've been with Allstate as an agent for the last 20 years. This is our bedroom, and this is our king size bed. It can accommodate four, right, Jazz? This is quite reasonable size for Mongolians. If they don't fit in this, they can always sleep on the ground. <laughs> I tell you, my biggest concern will be my hair. I'm going to get my hair done now, and I'm not going to have to worry with it for nine days, I hope. <laughs> PlayStation 2 is. I love PlayStation 2. I think the PlayStation 2 games are really realistic. My name is Chimba. I am 35. Oh, here. The man's job is to take care of the horse and all animals. And also, we have to prepare the firewood. That's my sister, Jasmine. My little sister. My name is Jasmine. I'm 
My name is Jasper Noble. I'm eight years old. I like animals. I like big animals, small animals, all type of animals. This is my bear. His name is Rocky. Once a month at the Mongolian barbecue restaurant. They have this big wok. And you go down the line, you get your fresh vegetables, uh, meat, whatever you want. It's healthy. What if we have to eat bees? Bees? I will pass. I'm most excited about riding horses. I want to say, yeah! I just don't think they have a clue as to what they're in for. I feel kind of nervous, kind of nervous about what's about to happen. Well, first of all, they're going to be shocked to see that we're African American. Unless they've been told, I think they'd really be shocked. Many people, uh, particularly from the countryside, they've never seen black people in their life. Black people in this area are going to be hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Worst case scenario that the bathroom situation is horrible and, it's, and I didn't prepare right and, and we're cold. Mongolian word is crazy. <laughs> Los Angeles. It's like <laughs> no turning back now. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably get nervous then. A little blinking. I am a blinker. here up on 
Atlanta, so I didn't think they would be right here. I thought they would be like grazing, you know, out in the pasture somewhere, but they are right here with us. Around 7.30, we'll milk the yak. Okay. Uh -huh. Just me or? Oh, just, just, just you. Just me, okay. Uh -huh. Sometimes kids help, but this is mostly the horse's job. Okay, and, and do we do that every morning at 7.30? This is not like in Cancun, y'all. We are in the middle of nowhere. We're just kind of looking around like, what have I gotten into? So you think in nine days we're going to be sad to leave? We're going to be running up out of here. <laughs> this morning kind of helped restart the fire again which we've been having quite a few problems with I can't get my fire going could you help us Debbie she has called me quite many times she had a little problem with the fire what should I be doing oh close the, the lid oh close the lid uh -huh. I don't really understand why it is so difficult for them the first day was eventful. Um, we found out all the chores that we have to do. Debbie, yeah, Debbie you see the um, yak? Uh, she's trying to kick, but it, it, um, she's not really <coughs> going to kick you. This is the kind one. Best effort. <laughs> Let's go catch a sheep. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm the best thing is to hold together while it munch together. Yeah, munch together. Oh, in it. Right here. <laughs> We have dinner. <laughs> Morning and the sky. We're gonna bring the sheep and goats. Yeah. This morning, I think Josh and Jasmine were kind of overwhelmed. But I think they warmed up this afternoon once they got involved and they started doing things. One of the everyday job of the kids is to clean the uh, cow dance around here. Good. Yak poop are these big, huge blobs like the size of the earth, and it's just like ice cream when it comes out. It just comes out, then it when it dries up, it's like a pie. In the earth, noob, earth, noob. In St. Louis, you don't see lots of poop. You only see dog poop, and it's in the park. Maybe the yak should, like, go where we go and dig a hole or something. They shouldn't just do it in the middle of nowhere, and then we have to clean it up. You were shoveling poop? Yes. What kind of poop? Poop. It stinks. It's the worst smell I ever smelled. Mongolians will slaughter sheep for very special occasions when a very honored people get to come to visit. Are you afraid? Uh, it's a bit nervous. Yeah, imagine how the sheep feels, huh? Walk 
walking the sheep over to slaughter. You know, the animal knew exactly what was going on and, and the resistance there and feel like an executioner. I really felt for it. You know, it's a lot different than going into the store and seeing something that this has already happened to. saw his face and he almost crying. Of course it's killing animal. It's a difficult to him. It is really shocking. You know, it's something I'd rather not ever do again. You know, it just just you know it's it's life. What do you insist about this? What, what, what do you have we to... We need to empty this dog. Uh, can we just throw it away? Ooh. I don't know if I want to eat any of this now. Actually, we need to blow in. Huh. Yeah, blow in a... Yeah, with, with my mouth? Yeah.
Josh had the same black tongue. Uh, so I'm thinking something serious at this point. You know, I'm blaming it on here. It's the plague. The shots didn't work. It's the Mongolians. And then we found out Pepto Bismol that we had given the kids causes your tongue to turn black. So it was really nothing after all. After I had blamed the Mongolians for my child's illness. You look much better, guys. Yeah. Where did you get out? That's good. Now we teaching uh, Mongolian wrestling technique to Daryl. Can I introduce the local elephant? His title is elephant. He's a local wrestler. He has three times a champion the wrestling. But he's not gonna hurt my husband. No, no. <laughs> Does he know these are just lessons? He knows this is a lesson, right? From the very beginning, you want to show your power. because I didn't know him that well. And that was different because I know him a little bit better than the first day. There's a riddle that I know. A riddle, okay. You know, Pete and repeat were in the boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? I get it. Hey, can, can you say that again? <laughs> Pete and repeat were in the boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. Pete and repeat were in a boat. Pete fell out. No. Who was left? You do say repeat, it's the name of repeat, yeah? You see? When you say repeat, that means repeat what I said. When you say repeat, we're supposed to say it over again. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolia is a beautiful place. There's a lot of hard work. <laughs> These people work harder than anyone I've ever met before. At home, we work mentally. Here, we're working physically. It's a different kind of work. I'd much rather do the type of work I do than do this. No, I can't get it. It's not one of my strengths. Nice shot. Oh, boy. We're not accustomed to this. You know, I work in an office. I sit behind a desk for nine or I go out on appointments. I take people to lunch, you know. Uh, I'm not used to milking a yak, you know. I hate this job. I'm ready to go home. I know, baby. <laughs> what I wouldn't give for a Coke. Yeah, what I wouldn't give for a, a frosty, cold beer. And a sandwich? Yeah, a nice pastrami sandwich, some <laughs> chips. Oh, yeah, some chips would be good. You take all those little things for granted, huh? You sure do. This morning, Chimbat and I had to go out to the forest to uh, chop down uh, firewood. Oh. oh, Lord. We don't have car. We use the ox cart and then handsaw, axe. It will be hard. Uh, have you been... Uh, other foreign country before? The, uh, the only other foreign country I visited was Mexico. Oh, they don't have winter? No, no, no they don't have winter. Uh, Chimbat and I talk a whole long. while. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you uh -huh. catch it, the uh -huh. defense catch it. Uh -huh. You catch it, you run all the way back oh, to oh, my zone. Oh, lost the yards. Right, right, no, you get a touchdown uh -huh. and you go all the way back and get to the end zone there. Uh -huh. Once we get to the forest, I'm thinking you just go and cut down some trees, right? Well, you have to find the trees that you can cut down. Chimbat. Yep. Straight ahead there. Oh, yeah. What I found out 
was that when the Mongolian men actually chopped down the tree, it's with this two man saw there. I think this is gonna be a long day. You know, it's a lot of work. I mean, it takes a toll on me, it really does. I asked him, were well, you guys opposed to using like a chainsaw or something like that to do your chopping? If you had one, would you use it, you know? And, you know, the response was, we just can't get one. <sighs> Are you tight? Yeah. <laughs> These were perfectly normal horses when we rode out here, and now they don't like us anymore. <laughs> Not very cooperative. Ended on my yeah, yeah, it was really scary. You know, I mean, I wasn't hurt or anything, but I didn't want to get on that horse anymore. So I walked with the oxen and the rest of the way. Um, we're here just to tell you that tomorrow morning we are moving. We're moving to the fall place. So we have to pack, pack up, up everything. everything. Yeah, pack up, up everything and then <laughs> settle down in a new place oh for the goodness. fall. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. We have to yeah, take I down the dirt. This one goes to yeah, the... Yeah, tomorrow morning, yeah. maybe around 9. Does everybody here go? Yeah, everybody yeah. will go really? out with all the animals. I do not like to move. I just don't like moving. At least with this, I know ahead of time. Everything else has been like, right now we're going to do such and so. When I get really angry, I don't talk because I know that chances are I'll say something that I'm going to really, really regret. I don't like to move. Get over it. We're moving. I do not like to move. If you say moving, it just, it, I mean, it just, I don't, I don't, I just don't like to move. This morning, we are moving um, to a new location so the um, yaks and the sheep and the goats can have better pastures for the winter. We haven't even moved in the last um, 12 years. This is uh, almost like a puzzle, the way this is put together. I was just thinking of the differences, you know, at home, you know, we had a house built, we hired uh, a company to move us. And we were complaining because we had to do packing. Oh. And I look at, you know, they break their own house down and rebuild it. I know. Hey, you're going to have to help me out here, especially if I'm leading, because I don't have a clue. You've done this before. Ah. I know the feeling, man. Well, I'm glad I don't have to walk kind of like back in the olden days, something you would see on television. Nothing like you would see at home. Come on, man, you gotta slow down, you're getting me in trouble. It wasn't that far, but it was a hard move. We've been going non-stop, they didn't take a break. But it's just amazing the way they work together to get it done. All right, it's starting to look like home again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome to the old scare. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Among other parts. Everyone's helped us out. We couldn't have done it without them, and now Gerald's helping some of them to put their gear up. So let's go. Let's go. What I'm impressed with is how they all, you know, pull together and work together. You know, heck, they didn't have to do that for us. They didn't have to help us out at all. And they helped us before they even do their own. Not that I like moving now, but I wouldn't mind moving with these guys. <laughs> if you gotta move, you need to move with Mongolians.
I'm really flattered by the fact that we're getting so many visitors and they're, they're just coming to sit down and just hang out. Jasmine, Joshua, you, Sidipus, Sidipus. I've never had a visitor actually. My dog is visitors. Both, both gentlemen are originally from Mongolia. You can tell that these people want to talk to you. You know, they want to help you. And I'm not going to understand. We're not going to understand each other anyway. What is this guy saying? He is really trying to communicate something here. Behind the cart. You can go get a train for that. You know, you come from some place where you understand almost everything and everybody. What's that name, man? Thank you. What's that name? It's just different, you know. It's much, much different. You're just a popular guy. Mm -hmm. Mommy, why don't you have company? Why do you think that? Is my door stuck around? No, I think it's because daddy's more popular. Baby is being very polite, but she needs to be a little bit, I don't know, more into the people. I think soon she will find out living in an aisle is uh, like you live in a community, kind of relate to each other. So this is like people really living together and uh, not individually. Hey, I'm doing the best I can, you know, so just what you got is what you're going to get. Last night, they had sheep's head. <laughs> what are you eating? I'm going to eat an eye. Ooh. When you eat eye, it's good for, like, eyes. For, like, healthy for you. I want to see what the eyes look like. There was a string, and they, like, cut the eye out. <laughs> Just the eye. Whoa, that's huge. But then he ate it. <laughs> He just eating everything. Yeah. That's right. What, what's this? Type of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. It's not the eyes. It's only the meat. <laughs> mm, that's good. Is there another eye leaf? It tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I went to the elephant's home. Why is my horse doing this? You know, I'm kind of getting accustomed to all their horseback rides. Mine's doing it more than everybody else's. There's a certain soreness that comes along with it. Is this the nice one? If it keeps doing that, I guess you'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I was flattered before I got there. If you go to any of the Mongolians and say, well, I know the elephant, I mean, you know, they know exactly who you're talking about. It's like going and say, look, I know Michael Jordan. But when I got there, I was honored. Your name called you I see the car that I gave him sitting there like a, like a trophy on his mantle. <laughs> I want to know, has he ever wrestled American? Wait, wait a minute, before we go any further, let him know that I, that was not a challenge. I am not asking him, does he want to wrestle me? No, I do not want to wrestle the elephant. <laughs> products today. She has a nice stove. It's warm in here. <laughs> Today we will make cow milk vodka. So is it real vodka? Very, Very strong. strong. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie came to make the dairy product with us and there were other ladies who were trying to help her. I think she found out like all these people actually thinking of her 
This is actually the stomach of the sheep that was slaughtered. We're storing this cheese. They say by putting this in here, this will last out during the winter. <laughs> I always knew the United States is supposedly the best country to live in, but also on the other side, we're more distant. Our next door neighbor, which has been here as long as we've been there, Daryl and I fuss out of time. I know her name is Marlene, but either his name is Bob or Rob. Isn't that terrible? It's just a shame that you can live side by side like that and not really know a person. Thank you. Thank you. Thing means good. I'm doing good. Yeah, you're doing really good. I know that word. <laughs> now you'll taste what you meant. <laughs> Everyone had fun. I saw David was happy, smiling, and laughing. Just being with the people it helped to break down the wall between her and the block of people. Feels like I'm at the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woman's dairy product making club. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. Anuka, Jasmine, I need you to go to every garret, get it, get me as many kids as you can, and bring them right here. Get out here playing baseball. Maybe we'll teach each one of them how to hit first, because everybody likes to hit. Ask, has anybody ever played baseball before? I don't think they have. Well, we're going to show you how to hit the ball with the bat. See the ball hit the bat. Who's going to be first? Come on. <laughs> Ready? Oh, good try. Oh. Whoa. Two hands. <laughs> this is the ball. Hit it. No. Oh. Oh. This is home plate. This is where we'll bat from, okay? Right by the yak poop, first base. Oh, first base, go to first base. You know, they don't know the rules, and it's almost, it's impossible to explain them to them. Oh, run, second base. Daddy, you can't run the bases with them. Pinch hitter. Everybody's starting to arrive. We got kind of like the parking lot filling up here. It's a lot of people that have come from different um, aisles that I've never seen before. There's a lot of kids and a lot of adults here that we haven't seen before. So I guess the party's about to begin. People saw how much Daryl has gotten into Mongolia. And I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. Oh, she wrestling this guy? Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get him, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, baby. Go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he looks beautiful, just like an eagle. Yay! You know, he's a strong guy. He was a confidant. He's a Mongolian racing kitten. It was really good.
all this going against the champ. I tell them don't do it. Just just take second and go. No point in getting hurt. That was really more than I bargained for. Much more than I bargained for. Daryl won three matches and he went into the finals and he had to wrestle against the elephant who is the four-time champion here in Mongolia. Daryl was my wife and my kids watching me. I have to run and then uh, I told him, you the man, you can do it, you can do it. see why you're a four-time champion. Uh -huh. One of the interesting things that was said to me yesterday uh, by Chimbat is 15 years ago, this was a communist country. 15 years ago, I would have been thought of as the enemy. Well, I can guarantee you the exact same thing with me. You know, he would have been thought of as the enemy to me. It's really something how things change, how you can have enemies that you don't even know you have. You're the man. All right. <laughs> but you can also have friends that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell them that our family, the nobles, want to thank all of them for making us feel so welcome and making us feel part of the um, aisle here? <laughs> when I got up to speak, it was really emotional and touching for me, and I'm trying not to cry. Tell them one more thing. <laughs> tell them that we're leaving tomorrow, that they will always have a special place in our heart. <laughs> you know, they look at us. You know, they're looking at us, and you can tell they're not looking at me as staring because she's an American or she's an African-American. They're looking at us um, because they're happy we're here. And that makes me feel really good. I think today is going to be sad. I never like saying goodbye. I don't want to go. <laughs> This morning, the family and I, along with Timbat's family, we sat on the hillside and had lunch. And we played a game with little flowers where you shoot them at people. Push this one and pull this one. Go! Oh! I got you! <laughs> I like Mongolia a lot, and I like the people here. <laughs> they share a lot. They share the firewood, they share food, and they share the animals. We don't do that in St. Louis. We don't share with our neighbors a lot. You're only eight now, and you don't appreciate it, but one day you're going to look back and you're going to look at these pictures and you're going to say, boy, my mom was right. It tells me a lot about my character. Things that I thought were important come in, like my hair. About three days after being out here, that's not even on the list anymore. Jimbat, I am honored that you had me here uh, for nine days, my family and I here. I, I, it's been real fun. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Yeah. Oh. What I would like for you to do is I would like you to have that. <laughs> Thank you. Wear it proudly. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these people I'll never see again in my life, and I'll miss them. And I will. And um, that's the bittersweet part about it. Live. Just take it. Live. 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 The way these people extend themselves to you and how they treat you. Come on now, how many of us would allow somebody into our lives like that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I learned so much from you. I learned, I learned a lot from you. But we will see each other again. Yeah. We'll see each other soon. <laughs> Okay.
Hey, thanks a lot. It's been a journey. It's been a journey. And I can remember, is it Bob or is it Rob or is Bob. it it's Bob. Bob. Bob? But when you have okay. to push yourself beyond that point that you thought you could go, then, you know, I think that's what makes the experience. If someone just point us in a direction, we're looking for some falls, maybe like a chainsaw. Who's going to Mongolia? Yeah.